You guys know, in the last nine years, I have not seen this guy without any facial hair. I don't even know what he looks like underneath. He's probably not that cute. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. So today, Sebastian and I have a very exciting video plan for y'all. Today, we are gonna be recapping the last 10 years. What? through pictures. So if you guys don't know, Sebas and I met back in 2010, so we actually been together for a decade. So 2020 was very exciting because that was our 10 year mark, 10 years together. We've been through so many eras oh. of haircuts and hairstyles and just about everything. So we did our best to recover as many photos as possible just because we were in that era transition between like a MySpace to Facebook, no more digital yeah. cameras and we're printing things out. Everything was I was just hitting like, you up through MySpace and Facebook. Yeah, like everything, just transitioned so photos kind of got lost i mean the best ones are probably on facebook no myspace but those are lost yeah. those are the cringy cringy ones that probably it's probably good that they're not here but like i said we did our best to recover as many as we could and i think we did a pretty good job so i hope you guys are excited to see all the pictures because they're funny i don't even know which ones you got to be honest i swear to god you, you know what though since the beginning of our ship we've actually always sucked at taking photos with each other we've we always don't suck at taking pictures yes, we, we always take pictures we suck at printing them out and putting them around but we house. also suck at taking photos together i think i'm just too busy taking pictures of you <laughs> i was about to say that it's always can you take a photo of me real quick and then from there we forget like i said we did our best to find as many as we could and we hope you guys are excited for this yeah so. don't laugh guys everybody and i'm sure you do as well go through changes in their life in your life i think sebas has had the most dramatic change of them all though i know like i think out of like Everybody that knows me, they always tell me that like you change every year. It's just like I get bored of myself. But you changed a lot too, Karen. Obi, Obi. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Botox, a lot of filler. I'm not ashamed of it. So, anyways, before we get into the video, guys, as always, subscribe to our channel. Both of us are here on YouTube. Sabas has a podcast on, on his YouTube. It's called yeah. La Platica. I like you. I appreciate it, boy. No, but like not as a friend, like sexually. <laughs> Actually really enjoy this podcast. I think thank it's like you. one of my favorites for sure. Definitely be sure to follow him on and there. And thank you for everybody who's already checked it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, such great support. And I just want to let you guys know that there's so many good videos coming out. You guys have no idea. And me and Karen are actually dropping a really, really big merch drop. Yes, we are. Um, I'm Which hoping... I don't think they even know this. No, they yet. don't. I haven't talked about it. They, <laughs> I was waiting. Yeah, they don't know, but just, just, uh, just a reminder, it's gonna be at the end of this month, I believe. Um, where I'm crossing my fingers, because like I said, it's, it's gonna be pretty big, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be cultured, you guys are gonna love it. I, it's gonna be my favorite. So wait on that, it's gonna be sick. sick. <laughs> so let's take it back to 2010, to the night that we met. And I actually have a photo from this night. We couldn't find one of him, but we found one of me. So you guys can get an idea of where we were at, what we were doing. So this is the photo of that night. And there I am right there with the red hair. I had this fire, fire, fire red hair. And I remember I had orange highlights, orange and purple highlights in between. I was, I was about it, to yeah. be honest with you. He liked it because he used to stalk me at Mac when I worked there, so. I was like, yo, I want the girl with the red hair. I remember that day I did my makeup at work and I worked at Mac at the time. So I put on, um, I think it was purple amor, like the purple eyeshadow from Mac, margin blush everywhere. And then I had that dress from Wet Seal that I got at like the $10 rack. Wet so Seal. I did, I went on my break and I got it for $10. But I remember this was the night because this was a group photo we took with the birthday girl and everybody who went on the bus. This was a photo from outside of the party bus. So there we are right there. You looked really good. Thank you. I know you approached me. You wouldn't stop. Um, that, to be honest, that wasn't the first, that wasn't the first time I saw you in person. The first time I saw her in person, she was with her ex-boyfriend. Well, Do you he, remember that? He was in a jacuzzi with like three girls. First of all, that's not true. <laughs> oh, sorry. Three guys, one girl. <laughs> First of all, you know me. I don't even get in the jacuzzi. You were in the jacuzzi. What? Listen, guys, I wasn't in the jacuzzi. You had a boyfriend at the time, but that didn't last very long. Next picture. You're stupid. <laughs> so this is around the same Honestly, time. Honestly, I don't even think this was like the wackiest haircut I've ever had. I think I was a trendsetter. I think the color was sick. The haircut was sick. I did it myself. This was the the birth of hairdressing Seba. Literally the birth. I was always into hair. This haircut was a little bit before I met Karen, but I looked the same. Look at that. Oh my god. 
Look That's at... Sebas, guys. That is him right there. Who? Like, man, I think I was 19, 18 years old. Real quick, I meant to say that the photo that you guys saw, that was actually in 2009, because we didn't start dating until 2010, but that's just an idea. So this is around the same time, I think 2009, maybe summer or something like that. That was single Sebas. <laughs> Savage. I, I loved I loved house music. I you always like rap. Yeah, I just yeah yeah yeah. I just I just I, you guys. I'm 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 such the type of person that I just get bored of how I look, so I always want to change it up. And that was literally like my first like out of high school. Like I want to do something crazy. That's when like faux hawk slash. That was when like the faux hawk was popular, and, and then it went into like the full grown mohawk, which I got. And like the bigger the mohawk, like the more dominant you were as a male. And <laughs> it was like the shuffling days. Like, it really, really was. Yeah, so mm. that was that. Uh, that was like, and that's how you looked when I met you that night. That is exactly how he looked. He had that mohawk. I had the red hair. We're both a little edgy, but yeah. Did you see those zebra glasses? Jesus Christ! I did. I wish can we brighten this up. Honestly, probably around the time that we started to like kind of date, maybe like early 2010. This is me being introduced to his friends, his people. And this was one of the nights that we hung out. We were playing beer pong. I had bright red, like I said, that cherry red hair, the orange and purple highlights. I'm pretty sure I was wearing MAC Pink Nouveau on my lips because that was my favorite with beat lip liner, that margin blush. And there is Sebas right there. Actually, you really didn't have too, too much facial hair. You, nah, I was just like- No, you like, were starting to, but you used to shave to the skin. I never, no, that's the thing. I never shaved to the skin. No, you didn't. But I would get it super short with like a trimmer. No, 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 you shaved to the skin. I, I remember you always had those little razors. <laughs> I just thought he was so cute and so innocent and he was just so sweet. You thought I still am. No, you are, but I'm just saying like, this is literally us. What's that face I'm making? Let me see, you're going like this. <laughs> So ugly. I still look cute. <laughs> so this photo is from our first Halloween and Sebas actually came to visit me at Mac and let me make him into a zombie because I was half zombie, half doll. I think the photo is still on my Instagram as well. If you scroll all the way back to 2012, this is that photo. This is me, 2012. What were we trying to do? I, I was half zombie, half doll and then I made you into... I remember you're like, let me just put makeup on you and then I was like... I didn't really okay. know what I was doing. If you guys don't know, I suck at Halloween makeup till this day. But I had the contacts, so that kind of yeah. makes No, scary. we actually, it's funny, we actually shared. Like I got one, you got the other one. I was so excited and so nervous and I was like, it just felt like different because it's a new boyfriend and... Oh yeah, and then like since I was a new boyfriend, like all her co-workers were like, oh my God, you guys are so cute. <laughs> so I literally did his makeup at the store and I was so proud of myself, but I thought... It I, was a hit though. It Where was. did we go? Um, I don't remember. I think we went to like San Diego or something. It was fun though. It was really, really fun, but that was like a, a really nice photo of us that... And since we're already on the topic, we're going to show you like a couple more pictures of our Halloween little... What is this? Face paintings that Karen did? This one was actually really good. We were like little calaveras. Yeah, and I didn't know how really to do good. any of that. And this is before like I even watched like YouTube and there was like much YouTube videos on it. I just kind of like winged it out. I was like, oh, I guess I'm doing it right. Here's like the full outfit. Dang, you look skinny as shit. I know, I was hella skinny, you guys. Skinny, I was wearing my American Apparel Disco pants. I don't know if you guys remember those. I miss those pants. I like, remember I bought you those one time and I was like, 80 bucks? Yeah. That was Seba's. Always in a hoodie. Eso no ha cambiado. You can catch him like that all the time. So this next picture, this is, I think, the reason in the beginning why Karen was even with me. This was You're our such first. A liar. This was our first kind of like trip together that we were in um, uh, Miami or the yeah, Keys. yeah Miami Miami the Keys. Yes. Karen got um, a job to do like makeup for this uh, really beautiful couple. And they flew her out and we were like, shit, let's go. So I think we only bought my ticket. Um, this was at the hotel. And uh, look at me, little Sebas. Te miras enfermo. Exactly. You are skinty. What was the diet? Like right now, I'm more cachetón, but like, I'm more like putrido No, you, I guess, yeah, you are. But like I got my you. veggies in me now. But I was blow drying her hair. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was a moral of the picture. I, I, I'm blow drying her hair. <laughs> Um, it's just, damn, like now that I look at this, I'm like, that's crazy. Cause that's what I was all about was doing hair and you know. And I remember everybody was like, get you a man that can blow dry your hair. Yeah, it went kind of viral. It was funny, but no, he used to help me literally do my hair. Well, just like with the blowouts, never color, never cuts, just blowouts. He tried to curl my hair one time and 
He was like, Not go, go with the round brush. Really yeah, good. I think that should be like uh, another YouTube video on my channel. Like, do I still do got still it? Got, I mean, I'm down. Can I still do a Can nice Can you style blowout? short hair? Because mm -hmm. this is like a little bit more difficult than what you think it is. Okay, next I gotta show you guys a picture of Sebas, this hair, because I think the, I'm telling you guys, the biggest one that's gonna have transformations in today's video is Sebas. So this is pictures of Sebas' hair. Jimmy Neutron hair. Hell no. He went through it, guys. I don't know. I don't I mean, know you why. look really cute though. You were really hot. Okay, like 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 the face and the pose was good. Do you but guys what was I thinking with that hair? Especially that picture is disgusting. <laughs> do you guys go to the other one? Do you guys remember the story about Vegas? Did I ever tell you guys a story about Vegas? This was the Vegas haircut. The F boy haircut. The f boy haircut. Like the pose is dope. <laughs> but the hair, what the <laughs> Was I You're still so handsome though. I just can't even envision you with Can you hair. stop showing that one and show the other one? <laughs> you keep going to that one. Zoom into that. <laughs> like, you guys kind of get what the hairstyle is going for, but... Uh, like, why so high though? Alright, so this next photo is another one of the time Sebas did my hair. And this is back, I believe, in 2012 or 13. As you can see, I had blonde hair, the loose curls. It actually doesn't look that bad. Like, he did a pretty good job. And this was the kind of OOTDs I was taking back in the day. So if you guys are giving up on your man or your OOTDs, do not because this was what we started with in the beginning. Have some hope in your loved one because they will get what it down. What pose is that? I don't, I don't know. It looks like you're castigada. <laughs> Can't even envision having my hair that teased anymore. I used to tease my hair, guys, like literally to the gods. I would tease my hair to so big gods. all the time. And this was me with like Bellamy, extensions like the first ones they ever launched oh, so yeah. you already know that they weren't that good it kind of like singed off and it wasn't that bomb but we made it work and that was when i just started getting into women's hair too so like she would let me practice on her so if they're not that good it's because i was literally still practicing my cejas have been you guys, you're I, everything my cejas my nose even looks still wider right there see. you don't look that bad though it's a big ass watch what is that miguel Cruz? <laughs> Wait, I actually think I found a picture of Sebas that might have a little bit less. I look dead ass the same. Mas nutrido. <laughs> so the picture that you just saw was after the fact that, I don't know why, but what year is this? Do you know? 2014? I don't even know. I think so. I don't even uh, know. It's 2013. So obviously I have a beard and then like it was the second year of Instagram. It was like a trend that guys just have these huge beards, like just grow them out as much as you can. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do mine. But mine, honestly, the longest it gets is this now, but I grew it from no, no, from, from like October all the way to like February. And this is what I got. And it was literally up to here. It was Drum insane. roll, please. Karen, show them the pig. Lumberjack Sebas. Hashtag beard. What was the hashtag? Beard goals? No, it oh. was um, beard gang. <laughs> hashtag beard gang. I have to show you this other one too, because this is when I was like. Zoom into that. <laughs> it was like a cover of a, of a rock band. Damn, that shit was huge. It was touching like. That shit looks kind of dope though. It looked nice. I'm telling you guys, he's the only guy in this world I know that can pull off. Anything. So many. <laughs> So many different looks. That's when it was getting like in the middle. The yeah, other ones I were like so. fully grown. It was actually 2013. So this one was December 26, 2013. And then this was April 29, 2014. Massive. Damn, that's crazy. And then he grew his hair out to his shoulders like mine. Damn, I've done it all to TBH. All right, so this next photo is from our first, very, very first trip that we ever took together international, and it was to Barcelona. So fun. We went with our two really good friends, and this was like our very, very first trip, first photos like this. It was really like an exciting moment because we had never experienced anything outside of the country. You know, we've only been like, obviously in the US, very small states, and then to Mexico, but. We've never been to Barcelona. Never. And oh my God, it was like a trip I'll never forget. I want to go back one day, but this is where we were at right here. I feel like we both look really, really young. Those were our tourist swag our outfits. tourist swag for sure. And then Bien this is this was the same day too. We took this uh, right over like a really pretty beach. Can you envision Sebas in a fedora like that nowadays? I was so swaggy. What happened to me? 
<laughs> now I literally just wear the same shit. The guys you see on Pinterest, that's how I wanted to be. <laughs> just nice, very fashionable. I was Any... more like um, metrosexual. I think that's the, the that's right, right word. word yeah. Um, doing hair, like just being so fashionable. Now I'm more like grungy, like I, like I said, I wear the same shit, just in different colors. I definitely do. Um, but I like it like that, I don't know. Actually, three more photos from that trip too that were really <clears throat> nice. Um, this one was on our very first like Vespa ride that we ever took. I remember this moment right here because we were going around in circles, remember? So And fun. there was this like one area where- <laughs> Like, um, una glorieta. No, there's another word for it. It's kind of, it's like a round- it's like, it's like a roundabout with like statues in the middle. Yeah, so, Real quick, if, you, if you've been to Barcelona, the roads, the architecture, phenomenal. The last day, we literally got a Vespa. We had like we eight hit hours like, left in we Barcelona. We hit like six spots, like so fast. Yeah. So if you go to Barcelona, just please be careful because it's fucking crazy. The, everybody drives crazy. That's the only thing that we were not prepared for that. Yeah. But taking that was the best thing because we saw things we didn't think we were going to see. And I remember this moment, there was this roundabout and we were we did it like five times just to kind of capture this photo and to get our friends like on video as well because they were in front of us. Yeah. And then that same trip, we also um, went to the Barcelona, um, what's the field called? Uh, Camp uh, Now. Oh, the soccer field? Yeah. yeah, Camp Now. To Camp Now, and this was a photo we took. I remember it was empty during that time. There was nobody there. And then here's another photo that we took Same as well. Same day, yeah. And you guys can't see Sebas. I can see it, but Sebas had like a duck tail growing out. Do you remember? You had Did a I? duck oh, tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah he had like long. a duck tail, so you can kind of see it in the back. My hair was at its longest at Barcelona. What did Vanessa do? The girl that we traveled with. Um, oh, yeah, she chopped it off. She chopped <laughs> off my hair, remember? I said, Vanessa cut my hair and that was uh, the start of me never having long hair again. <laughs> Remember that? That was a crazy, crazy that time. That was sick. So this is another photo of us that I just came across. It was actually on a Polaroid, which is why it is super blown out, but um, I had like blonde, long hair during the time. I was going through the ombre phase and Sebas was in his beard phase as well. You kind of looked a little like- Look at my 50s. little hat. Yeah, you know, the hat with like the, the flipped Who's out that beard. that band that, what's that band called? Good Charlotte? This is part of Good Charlotte. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> this right here is my birthday. I think, I don't remember what year this was, but this was, um... It was when you turned 21, no? 21? Oh wait, no. I wasn't even with you at 21. <laughs> You're right. Definitely not. Uh, this was, I want to say, maybe 25th, 24, 26. I really don't remember what year this was, but we did an all-white party at Bagatelle. And if you guys have never heard of Bagatelle, it is the ultimate Sunday brunch. Put it this way, it's Sunday, you go to brunch at 1 p.m. It's inside of a building, but they shut the curtains so it's completely dark like a club. Music is wild. You are partying for hours getting wasted off of these brunch drinks and pretty much once you come outside, you realize it's six o'clock and it's light and you are just wasted out of your mind. So we did an all white party. This is actually the girl who introduced Sebas and I and then Sebas right here in all white, which he refuses to wear. Sebas is not like that all white parties. That is the last time I wore all white. <laughs> we were living in LA actually, cause we had to stay the night at our friend's house that night, but we were like starting to come to LA more for work and getting to know people more. So it was the first time that I actually like did something for my party and I was able to splurge and like, you know, cover everything for everybody. Man. That bill was high, but it was we a really good time. We ended up at our good friend's house. On her couch. Like two hours later, like, oh my God, what happened with like yeah. Jack in a Box Ranch all over our faces. <laughs> I know we've been a little bit everywhere, but we're now taking it back to 2015 to this photo right here that is very special for many reasons. So this was after my very first makeup seminar that I ever hosted ever in my life. I remember I was about to throw up before I walked on stage. I was so nervous and so scared because I never had done anything like that. And this is before like IG stories, YouTube. Like I don't think anyone had ever heard my voice at that point. I'd only done pictures and at the time, you know, I was doing makeup for clients. I had a lot of people that wanted to learn how to do it. So I held a class in LA. We had a really successful class. It did so well. I was so incredibly nervous. Like you guys have no idea. So this is a photo that we took afterwards with the one who helped us. And it was like such an exciting moment for both of us because we felt so accomplished. And this is when Sebas wasn't even really, you were doing hair, you weren't even working with me at all. So that week he had actually Asked my dad to borrow my dad's camera because we didn't have a camera so he could film the thing. Film it 
to project it on the screen. So he was like, man, I feel great. I just did that, you did that. So this was like an exciting moment for us. We were both so, so happy. I don't think we ever posted this photo either, but it's been like in my phone for like a really long time. And then you guys heard the story. Two weeks later is when we were gonna go to San Jose. And then that's when my boss didn't let me. So I quit. <laughs> Oh yes, that remember? Was, yeah, I do. That was and the best thing ever just did. a just a quick story on that day. So we get there, right? I remember we picked up some cupcakes from some lady because we were gonna give cupcakes out for your seminar. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that. I'm on there. <laughs> yes, no. Um. Anyways, we get there. Karen's already at the in the room, and my job was to get everything in the car and take it to the elevator, take it up, and take it to Karen. Um. Turns out there was like two buckets of brushes that she needed to use. And we were in the elevator and tell me why one of the buckets of brushes fell and like two or three of them went inside the elevator. <laughs> you didn't know that. You didn't know that? No. Me and my friend were like, oh shit, hopefully she didn't need that one. This is actually a picture from that day too. This was like the quality we had back in the days. That was literally the start of something great. Yeah. We, after that, we did two years touring um, the United States and then. Uh, we did a tour with Nyx. Nyx asked me to do um, some classes with them and we traveled to Vienna, Sweden, Amsterdam, and Latvia. This was in Sweden. I remember we took this photo. We were freezing outside. We had never experienced cold like that in our lives. It was beautiful. Um, but it was really nice. But this is like the photo that we got. But I do remember, I think I was upset at you right here. I'm always upset at you for some weird reason, but I remember I was upset <laughs> at you. <laughs> I was like. This is when I started to have short hair. Oh yeah, we didn't even live in downtown. No, that day we were actually looking for spots in downtown. Yeah, and that was outside of the place where we moved into. Because mm -hmm. we, I forgot why we were in the area, but we The next there. year we moved into downtown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guys, if you ever want to do something, go figure it out and put it in a mood board or something because it will happen. So this next photo never went on my Instagram because my parents followed me on there and I was like, oh my God, if they see this, they're gonna be so upset. I was so, so scared. But this was when we went to Greece for a summer vacation and it is like probably one of like the the hotter photos of us. Let me see if I can bring this up. Pura nalga. Pura nalga in this photo. But this was, it's a pretty hot photo. Maybe one day I'll post it on my actual Instagram because it's really cute, but see that placement? That guy also in the background was really interested in what was going on. <laughs> But this is like a really, really fun moment. Um, we went we to were Greece. In Mykonos. And it was the wildest like weekend ever. It was so much fun out there. So here's another picture, and uh, this is a rare moment of me dressing <laughs> up. Um, guys, Karen always looks good when she's dressed up. I look good too, and I like how it looks. I just absolutely hate how it feels. I was like, oh shit, you know, I look good. I look proper. He's I look like, like complaining gentleman. the whole time about how uncomfortable he is. And I'm just like, shut up. Like you look good. But no, as soon as like he gets like, opportunity to change. I like, feel like a snake is just. He's, he's gotta, gotta change. I feel constricted. This one is actually from, I want to say last year. This is a wedding in Jalisco that we went to. This was Jamie's wedding in Italy. Sebas looks so good right there. Uh, we have one right here from your cousin Angie's wedding. What the fuck? <laughs> Like I look day. like a guy that just met you and I'm so fucked <laughs> up trying so, to like get you at you. so hot right there. What are you talking about? You look fucked up. <laughs> no, I was like so shy because I didn't know anybody at that wedding. This was at another wedding we went to and another wedding. And we are the wedding guests that you guys want. We're fun. We'll turn up. Yo. We'll eat the food. Okay, so this next photo is one that I never posted which I should have because I think it's I such down. a meaningful photo. I have a really, really bad habit of not posting a lot of photos. Like, as I was going through looking for photos, I realized that I really have so many photos that I haven't posted that I think I might just start posting because they're too good. But this one right here actually was taken on my birthday this year, um, 2019, and it's a very meaningful photo because this was the day that we got the call. About, that was a good week too. Yeah, and we were actually at the airport, missed our flight, and long story short, he got the call that we were an escrow for the house and he told me maybe like an hour before this photo was taken. So I have no makeup on. I cried everything off. I couldn't believe it, but there's so much meaning behind this photo. I mean, what was going on at the moment and how we felt. I remember I didn't even care that we were delayed six hours. Like I was just like, I'm so yeah. excited. I don't even know what to do. I had so much emotion from that whole weekend. Like I felt so happy. So I felt like it was like a nice complete way to like end the birthday year. It meant a lot though. Yeah. You had a good week that, that, that we week. We sure did. We sure did. 
But yeah, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed what was that, like 10 to 15 pictures. Um, we try our best to are, find as many as we can, like I'm telling yeah, you guys. We so wanted many to of them show were... you guys change ones so you guys can see how we actually looked back in the day. I'm sure all of us went through it. Um, that's life. You, you think something's cool. The next year, you don't think it's cool. So that is why it's so important to always be yourself. <laughs> always take photos too so you can look back and have memories. Because yeah. if there's one thing I regret, from the start of relationship to now is not taking more photos of in the moment photos. I think mm -hmm. sometimes we get caught up with just, you know, being picture perfect, taking like things going on and just saving it. Sometimes I wish I could just print them out instead so I can keep them forever versus like, cause sometimes when you look at your phone and you're like, God, I have 8,000 photos. I don't need all these. Yeah. You clean it out and then later on you're like, wait, I wish I would've kept those photos. So there's definitely a lot more that I've been lost, but um, I'm happy to be able to share some of them with you guys. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Comment yeah. down below. Like this video, subscribe to Karen's channel if you just hopped into the to the channel. Like I said, we really hope that you guys enjoyed that. Let us know if you guys want more videos just like that, because I think we can come up with some really crazy ones. I think it's time for a Q and A as well. Q and A Maybe like or a something. Nasty Q and A. We have a nasty one. <laughs> we haven't really done any challenges or any mukbangs or any kind of videos because we've just been kind of focusing on some of this podcast, and then I've been so busy with other stuff going on as well. But we always want suggestions on videos that you guys want to see from us. So be sure to let us know down in the comments below what you guys want to see in the future. So with that being said, guys, we got to go. It is, what time is it right now? Ooh, it is 11.30 p.m. and it's time to go, Mimi's. So we will see you guys in the next video. Buenas noches. Bye.